Alright guys, I got an owl plushie I think, might have been Webkins, I have no idea. And she will be our spooky video buddy today, for this video. So let's watch the shadowy spirits of the Rolling Hills Asylum. Yeah, I don't- yeah, I'm more scared of ghosts than cryptids. Here it is, in all its glory. Rolling Hills Asylum. Looks about, looks about right. I mean, yeah, this, this is part for the course, right? Yeah. I've got, uh, I've seen a lot of evidence come out of this place, so. You, you just check this out on the boards? I've been, I've been trolling the boards. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man, come on. Too dark. This is a nightmare. This place is a nightmare. So this is the infirmary. <sighs> Old hospital hall. There should be a plaque around here somewhere. Oh boy. Shane, I don't like this game you're playing right now. You know I have a thermal cam, right? I could see where you're hiding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right now, we're just kind of going stream of consciousness. I'm not sure what most of, much of these rooms are. Are them creepy? I'm just them for a little while. Oh, fuck me. There's just some shit moving in there. Oh my god. Is there anybody here with us right now? Who's down here with us right now? We're a little lost. Wait, was that a creep? That was a creepy doll. Was that? Windy. Why is it that? Too? <sighs> Please turn your light. Turn your light on, Shane. No. Turn your light on. Do it. This week on BuzzFeed Unsolved, we investigate Rolling Hills Asylum as part of our ongoing investigation into the question, are ghosts real? Just one quick glance at this place and you could kind of uh, see where my mental state is gonna be in a bit here. Just another weekend for the boys, I guess. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is this? You are in a very weird mood right now. I, I, this is, you gotta understand, this is my season of sort of respecting uh, ghosts. Oh yeah, I forgot. Since this is our first investigation when it comes to ghosts this season, Shane has now said that he's going to respect the ghosts. I expect that to last two minutes. I just, you know, a lot of people give me feedback sometimes and they say you gotta be kinder to the ghosts. And for the record, I am usually very kind to them. Oh, are you? Here, here's what's gonna happen. I'll give you a play-by-play -play of what's actually going to happen. We're gonna go into a room. Yeah. We're gonna do an EVP investigation. It's gonna be silent for about two minutes. You're gonna get bored. You're gonna go, ah, fuck it. Hey, uh, come rip my head off. You're gonna say something like that, something really witty and stupid, right? That's how it's gonna happen, guaranteed. We'll see. Having existed for nearly two centuries, the massive 53,000 square foot Rolling Hills Asylum officially opened on January. Yes, we know. I'm about to take the final slips of this, so it's gonna be a little bit loud at the mic, maybe. January 1st, 1827, Rolling Hills Asylum was originally called the Genesee County Poor Farm and was one of the many poor houses scattered around the US. Poor houses were government run facilities to support and house the needy. In the beginning, Rolling Hills played home to orphans, families, mentally ill, elderly, physically disabled, criminals, and vagrants. I just didn't know poor houses were a real thing. They were, they were big across uh, the US. There was these things called the poor laws, where this kind of sounds messed up, but basically the government would determine which people deserved financial aid, and for the people that didn't deserve uh, or were deemed undeserving, they would be put in these poor houses. And Dude. That was the long list of people. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, fucked up shit. folks. Yeah, they just, sometimes they didn't really know what to do with people, so they just threw them in a building, you know? It's better than a pit? I guess. 
Yeah, sure. I, I mean, Bill, it was <laughs> better than a pit. Shame a day, 2018. Put that on a sweatshirt. <laughs> I was trying to be empathetic. What pit were you imagining, by the way? You were imagining the pit I, that Lando Calrissian <laughs> almost fell into in the, Star Wars. You're talking Sarlacc yeah. pits. The Sarlacc pits. Yeah. I had teeth. A roof over your head is better than being eaten by a large toothy monster. Yeah, he's got a point. The spirit seen is the ghost of a former nurse named Emma. It's said that most spirits at Rolling Hills are helpful and often appear when you call out for help. Emma is often seen in her room, so perhaps this tactic will lure her into view. So right now we're approaching Nurse Emma's room. This is, uh, she's apparently German, so maybe you could exercise some of that uh, four years of German you learned in high school. Four, it was, it was, I was in class for four years, but I really didn't learn very much. Yep. That shows what kind of student you were. Not very good. It's nice very, room. It's very windy outside. Yeah, just let's pause for a moment and listen to the wind because it's almost nightmarish. That's some decent. That's some horror that's movie. Pretty wind. wind. Pretty windy. Pretty wind. It's pretty windy in here. Yeah. Um, she was also known to be Get very dedicated to wind her acoustics. Job, so we call out for help. Oh my! That is very windy. If we call out for help, she may come out. Okay. It's wind. There's. I know. Okay. I know. I just. It's. Wind is. This no. is. This is almost unbearably horrific. Nurse Emma, can you help me? I am having trouble finding my room. We came all the way down here to see you. So if you have anything you'd like to say to us, please say so now. Speak louder than the wind, if you can. Let her speak. Sorry. Respect. Someone just whisper? I'm gonna sort of put a kibosh on whispers for this one because we have the wind. I mean, I heard a whisper that sounded different than. Yeah, yeah. Ich yeah. heiße Schein. Is that all you know how to say? Four years of German, you could only say, My name is Shane. Could you ask her how long she's worked here in German? Uh. No. Then why do why you bring up you know German if you don't uh, here, know German? Here. Zenf. What does that mean? Mustard. So actually right next door to Emma's room, here's Steve's room. And this guy, not as friendly as Emma, said to be... Bit of a curmudgeon? Not a very nice man. Jesus. Hello, Steve. My name's Ryan, that's Shane. Hi, Steve. So, Steve, I have a device here. This may help you speak to us. We're just gonna ask you some questions, and if you wanna talk to us, you could talk to us. All right. Let's go to 200. All right. We're back, baby. All right, Steve. Can you, uh, I'm Ryan, that's Shane. Could you say our names back to us, Steve? You know me, I need multiple words. Yeah, it takes a lot to scare you. Steve, uh, anything to say to, to your boys here? We come here uh, just willing to be open. You're an actor? Sure sounds like he's their doctor to me. Mm, I don't, you know, I feel you're like you're a maybe doctor. Not. Why is that? It just sounds like, you're an actor. Well, you did just you're say, an actor. it did sound like you said, uh, is there an actor, is there a, I'm, you an You actor? understand I'm humoring you. In 1887, the Genesee County Board of Supervisors decided that people, quote, suffering with acute insanity, end quote, should be housed in another location within the state. The county home spanned 200 acres and had a self-sufficient farm where able-bodied people were required to work. Residents would also do upkeep chores for the asylum, such as cleaning and baking. Before closing in 1974, the asylum served as a nursing home. There are over 1,700 documented deaths within these walls, and the current owner, Sharon Coyle, suspects that there could be three times as many deaths because documentation by previous owners was spotty. Oh boy. A good portion of these people were buried in graves that still have yet to be located. Oh, man. According to Rolling Hills Asylum's website, quote, Something similar is 
is there's something similar to that when if you go to like a California mission. Just because they have a gravestone there doesn't mean that's where the body actually is. An actual cemetery register or plot map has yet to be discovered. Is that bad? Yeah, that's bad. You, you, you just put like a right Shane was here. You wouldn't want that. You know, a lot of cultures feel like there's a lot of life after death. What, so if you die and someone doesn't put a little headstone on your grave, God comes down to earth, he's like, well, I was going to take an angel up there, but I don't know where that... No, does. that's not what I'm saying, you jackass. I don't know what why. I'm saying is... Yeah, I don't know why God sounds like that, by the way. It sounds like Hank Hill. Yeah. I'm saying that a lot of cultures, uh, life is after death because then your family members come visit you and do, uh, you know, practices that keep you alive. Haven't you seen Coco? All right, so right now we're yeah, Coco's on the a top good movie. floor. We're Heading down to the infirmary on the second floor. Although the DVD I rented right from the library was kind of busted. Oh, Skipped I, over I a scene. I don't like the way this room feels at all. It's fairly well insulated. It smells. It smells. Is there anybody here with us right now? We're about to leave. We're going downstairs pretty quick here. I don't see anything on thermal. What about in these little places? There's a piano there. Would you like to play that? What? <gasps> A little doll. <laughs> very good, very good. Very creepy. Hello. Who is this? Who is the screaming lady? I've heard interesting things about her. Not quite sure. There's a theory, but there's we really don't know who she is. Um, some people think it might be Phoebe White, who was the first resident who ever moved in here when she was a little girl, when it was the poorhouse. And uh, she lived out about 56 years here. Oh, she's trying dude. to communicate somehow, and she's so frustrated, she just screams. Fucking horrifying. That is uh, an artist's rendition of the screaming lady. Not a fan of this lady, are you? I mean, that, it's, it's it what It looks like some out of paranormal activity. So right now we're in the chapel. Yep. That right there, if you look up there, that's a static camera. It's a night vision camera, so if any of these things move, we'll see it, and it will trigger the motion alarm. I could show you what that sounds like. It's gonna be loud. Ghoul alert. If we go one floor up and we hear that, then we know we caught something on the static cam. Th that's just one other fail safe. So if we hear the alarm and we see something move on the camera itself, we caught a ghoul, my friend. Our audio recorder left in the chapel picked up these strange noises over time. It could be a thousand things. I, I figured you'd think you'd, and, I figured you'd think it's. And you, you tend to go, well, here's a thousand things it could likely be. Put a big X over those, even though they're very logical. <laughs> There's I, I no think, way it could possibly be the building settling or a creek somewhere. A creek that sounds like a moan. Hey, I think it may be those things, but I also think it may be the screaming lady who's known to make mm -hmm. noises of pain. What's more moment. likely? I think they're equally likely. You think they're equally likely? Yeah. Something that has never been proven I think or ghosts, observed. I think ghosts have been proven and observed several times. Next to the chapel is a recreation room full of folding chairs that are said to move on their own. Is this sound one of those chairs? That might be... That's... That does sound like a chair. I mean, I'm gonna say that could very likely just be a door opening or yeah. uh, wind moving something. It's a it's a very busy uh, it's a very busy building. You remember how loud that building was I that do, night? So many that, creaks. That does not sound like uh, just a little creak. Doesn't sound like uh, a door opening. Maybe that the door is I mean, I feel like if you played ten different sounds for someone and said, "Which one sounds like a little creak?" They'd probably say, "Oh, that one. It sounds like a little creak." No, I think if we put ten sounds that were all creaks and said, which one of these sounds like a chair moving? That would sound like that's a chair moving. One of the most prominent figures in the asylum is the spirit of a man named Roy Kraus. <laughs> Roy is both Excuse prominent me? due to his frequent activity, but also because of his massive size, as Roy Kraus was almost seven and a half feet tall. Damn. Whoa! That's pretty big. <laughs> I, don't have to, I don't have to do the low-hanging fruit joke here, so I'm not going to. No, but you couldn't reach it if you tried. That's good. Fortunately, <laughs> Roy is said to be a favorite apparition due to his friendly nature. That's this good. also includes the building owner, Sharon. Just been here a couple of months, and I walked in the building with a handyman and trying to make a plan for the day. And I walk around the corner, and I thought there was a kitten on the floor. I'm like, how the hell did a kitten get in the building? And I realized, oh my god, no, it's a rat. It scurries off in front of me. And I'm like, I'm freaking out. Oh my god, there's a rat in the building. So we go upstairs, right above us, actually, where the infirmary is. And sure enough, on the floor, there was blood in the shape of a rat, like you can see the tail and the arms and the legs. 
and on the wall right behind it there were footprints huge giant footprints like someone had kicked the hell out of the wall and then there was like handprints with blood on it huh. and it's still up there i can show it to you what you think i think rory killed the rat just to help uh, because i was freaking out about a rat <laughs> okay so right now we're on the infirmary up here is where the rat story happened you could actually see remnants of the handprint right here i mean rats just die a lot and as you can see that's a I mean, you can see at one point that was a pretty big handprint. There's a little bit, I guess, of a mark of where the rat was found. I guess Roy's way of saying Roy was here. So right here, this is Roy's room. Oh boy. Did he have a big bed? If you see the wall paper border around, that's actually seven and a half feet. And that's you're a tall squash. guy. That's a guy so tall that I'd be scared. You could see what a, an actual bed that would be fit for you would feel like. That way you wouldn't have this to. This is a bed it. for an, an eight foot tall person? Yeah. No, it's kind of wooden. It's very wooden. Well, there was a mattress on it. Look at all the room you have for those long limbs. That's pretty good. Actually, not much room. Well, okay, no, there's oh, plenty there's of room. There's actually, that looks like it fits you just right. No, there's a lot of room in here. You ever listen to the radio, Roy? Well, this is kind of like that, but it'll make you want to shove a pencil in your ear. Yep. You know what it is? I think it's not. I'm sure it can't stay. But it's a girl voice. Yeah, it sure was. Just say our names back, or if you want, can you tell us your name if this isn't Roy actually in here? Cold winter. <laughs> yep. I agree. Roy, I heard you like listening to opera music. So, I have some opera tracks with me, and I'll play them, and uh, even if you're not, you're not in this room, we're going to walk around the hall, so if you want to come walk around with us, maybe uh, say hi to us, you could do so, but I'll, I'll play some music for you now, because I know you'd like that. How about it, Roy? I enjoy it. Shall we? <laughs> no, we're not dancing, I meant like we Oh, sleep. no, I know. This somehow makes it even more somehow more creepy. Anybody wanna come out? It's Christmas time. This is a a male vocal <laughs> opera song, so maybe you want to sing along. Where's the singing though? Let's walk down the terrifying red hallway. Why is it glowing at the end? Oh, that's just a light. Oh, there's a singing. Here, Roy? Anybody here that wants to show themselves, listen to the nice music? This is for everybody, not just for Roy. Come on, Roy! In the basement, there is a room referred to as the Christmas Room. During its time in operation, Rolling Hills was home to many children, and supposedly, there was a room where children would go to meet Santa during the holidays. To this day, this room still has Christmas decorations. Oh, is that it's said that toys room? will allegedly move by themselves in the Christmas room. So right now we are in the basement <laughs> of the East Wing, and down here is the Christmas room. <sighs> this looks like like happy happy things there's a little santa Whoa, look at that happy boy in what the is with christmas decorations that look it looks so menacing when it's you know when they're by themselves not crack have you ever seen those creepy santas like let me bring it up Let's see if I can find them in images. There's a Christmas store with a very ugly Santa mannequin. Okay, I can't exactly find it, but you know those mannequins with the smushed in faces? There's a year round Christmas store in Solving that has a uh, that has an ugly Santa mannequin. Like so freaking creepy. Packers always creep me out too. 
We could set up our little test here to see if something will move. We actually have a little device with us here today. This dog is quite useful because it measures static energy around it. So I'll show you, show you what I mean. This looks very scientific. Well, I'll put it on music mode. Okay, so basically what it does is it measures the static electricity. So when I get close to it, it turns on. Mm -hmm. That's basically all there is to it. So what we're going to do, since this is the Christmas room, this is where a lot of children played, we're going to ask them to pet the dog. Oh, that's fun. All right, so if there's anybody in here, you want to pet our dog? Would you like to pet our pretty dog? He's very nice. He doesn't bite. He's plushy. I'm going to pet the dog. See? He likes it. He plays music for you. <laughs> pretty good, right? That's pretty good. <laughs> it's for the kids. What do you think? What's your favorite holiday? If you're in here, I'm guessing you like Christmas, right? You like Santa I Claus? I like Halloween. Oh, 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 oh. It's me. The man with the bag. Pet the dog. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're here just to have fun. We're not here to hurt you. We can't, we can't have fun with you if you don't let us know you're here. So if you want to just move something in this room or show us which toy you want to play with. But our dog is really nice if you want to pet him. Why not just leave yeah, the camera yet, you don't pet, don't don't pet pet the dog. with the dog? I kind of like it. Maybe you could keep your hands off the dog. Against the rules. It would be really uncool if you pet our dog. I'll kill you if you touch my dog. Okay, Dude. Don't pet the dog. Now they're not going to touch if they, are exi if they exist. Well, we're going to leave our dog here, actually. So when we leave, if you just don't want to play with the dog because we're here, you could go ahead and touch the dog as soon as we leave. No problem. Before leaving the room, we set up a static cam to yeah. watch the dog. Oh. Fucking hell. I think something was there was either poking it on the nose mm -hmm. or it was petting it. And because ghosts maybe don't have, I don't know, as much, uh, basically what the dog is, it has an energy field around it, like a static energy field around it. And if you break that field, it'll set the dog off. Maybe ghosts don't have enough to make it go crazy, but they have enough to make it, you know, blip. All of the yeah. Bugaras, all the believers, they're going to say, this is pretty compelling. I think yeah. Pretty compelling. All the people who really believe in science will recognize <laughs> pseudoscience and understand that there is zero correlation between this shitty thing <laughs> that has nothing to do with this lack of there's there's nothing there well it was you something understand there's no connection you're saying you're forcing this fake science into the it's world not fake science it is it's an energy field that we brought we tested the, the the device when we were there it worked when we put our hand into it it didn't work when we were away from it we were sitting next to it for about 20 minutes nothing happened we leave it happens. Perhaps the most active area is known as Shadow Hallway, a hallway leading toward the infirmary where shadow people are often seen. In one room of the hallway is what Sharon believes is a portal or vortex in the asylum. The shadow people, quote, could look like you and I, solid. They can be light gray, medium gray, dark gray, or pitch black. They could be normal human shaped or amorphous shapes. They come in and out of doorways, walk across the hall. Sometimes they'll poke an arm or a leg out. Sometimes they crawl on the floor and that can be creepy. Ugh. Especially if you're sitting on the floor during an investigation and one is coming at you because you can actually see the shadow moving toward you. Fuck. End quote. To finish this off, we'll investigate this hallway individually and perform a spirit box session in the vortex. This is a shadow hallway. Be on the lookout for um, shadow people as you look down into the blue light. You'll see it at the end of the hallway. Then you're gonna end in the vortex room. You don't like the spirit box, so you're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna do the spirit box. That's just simply how it is. Thank you for allowing me to not do the spirit box. Here I go, embarking on my journey into the dark. These probably commenting on the decor, you know, making silly little jokes, having a blast. But my mind's going to descend into darkness when I go up there. I got to quickly unplug and plug it.
Yeah, it was getting messed up. Any oh, dolls plus. Like to talk to me? Miss? Man, his face is so close to the thing. What are you doing back there? You think I didn't see you? Yeah. You go check corner. <laughs> this is for science. I'm about to shine my truth beams all down this hallway. If I see one of you, just know that I'll have footage of a ghost. And you'll scream like a little so here bitch. I am, walking down Shadow Hallway. <sighs> so we got some rooms. Oh, I gotta pee. So, if you're here, Roy, what the fuck was that? Okay, 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 okay. Don't lose it, Ryan, don't lose it. Now I'm gonna go. Ah, oh, Jesus. He seemed brave walking up there, but he did have that sort of glassy look in his eyes that he gets. I'm gonna just stand in one of these rooms and just bask in the silence, as Shane says. That's a huge bed. Yeah. Holy fuck, okay. Anybody here right now? I'm giving you the floor. I think that was the wind, but it sure sounded like a voice. That's my good for alpaca there. yarn is softer than my this plushie. This is the vortex room. Going in. Oh, people report feeling uneasy in here. Some people can't even walk in here because it's just so thick. This is said to be a portal, and Shane said he asked Satan to come here. So Dude! That's fun. Thanks for that, fucking Shane. This is a spirit box. This will help me speak to you. I'm very scared right now. I'm sorry. Uh, just out of curiosity, is yeah, that cell working? Are you scared too? A little? Yeah, I'm a little scared too. But I mostly have to pee. Roy, are you here right now? No? Then who is it? No one. Huh. They're shy. Okay, you want to play games? <laughs> sure. That's your time. Woohoo! Oh boy. Oh. Thank you, fucking God. Get me the fuck out of here. I did it. I did it. I did it. Hey! You lived! You didn't get eaten by a ghost. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> you look rattled. Yeah. What man. happened in there? Just, you know, talking to things. Did you get anything? Nope. Know. Got nothing. <laughs> for the course. Well, goodbye to what's ever up there. Sayonara. The boys are out. With its decades of history and numerous inhabitants, it's not far-fetched to think that some people remain. Did a spirit actually trigger our motion-detecting dog? Perhaps. But regardless, whether or not Rolling Hills Asylum is definitively haunted will remain unsolved. unsolved. Well, that was spooky, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.